deciding the right caching strategy. Let us go through few scenarios and try to identify the right strategy. Consider product catalog with real time pricing. Now that is a read heavy workload. Product and pricing information may change occasionally, but you cannot display outdated information. Cache always need to have latest data. So the recommended strategy is cache aside strategy. You cannot use a write back strategy because it writes first to the cache. And since pricing or product catalog is a critical information, we do want it to be written directly to the source of truth that is the database. Since this is a read after write pattern where you will immediately read after writing some information, write around caching does not make sense because it is more suitable for write once pattern. However, you can use write through caching, but that will be an overkill since it does maintain consistency between the cache and the database in the same write API. Also, the latency will be higher in that case. So cache aside strategy is better here. Let's go through another scenario, which is shopping cart. So multiple users can modify the same cart. Read must always reflect the latest cart. Write frequency is occasional, but correctness or consistency is quite critical. In this case, we can use write through caching. Again, write back strategy cannot be used as we cannot write critical information of cart directly to cache. Uh, it has read after write pattern, so you can skip write around caching. And since cache aside strategy can serve stale data, which we do not want as correctness is important, we cannot use that as well. So we'll go ahead with write through caching. In order history, there is high write throughput, rarely read. And if your cache is accessed, uh, it improves subsequent performance. So for example, if you go to my orders, there is a higher chance in the next few minutes, you are going to access it again. So in this write around caching makes more sense. Other strategies can be avoided since this is a write once kind of scenario. And the last case we can go through is video view count. It means as soon as you view a video, you need to increment the count as well as show it to the user. So this is an extremely read heavy, write heavy workload. Accuracy is not critical. Eventual consistency is acceptable. So if you show uh, 98 and the actual views are 101, that's fine. But your DB should not be hammered with every view count. You can increase it in the cache and then batch update into the database. So write back strategy makes the most sense here. So this is how you can decide which strategy to use when.